Satnam. Satnam, everybody. Welcome to another Soul Book session. Connecting soul to soul. <laughs> <laughs> With Sat Kirtan Kar. And Hari Ram Singh. It's our Lion's Gate edition. Um, it's only two days away. The Lion's Gate portal, well, which is larger than one day, but the, the beginning of the portal, I guess we could say, is on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. or Thursday. 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 Yeah, tomorrow's a seven. Oh wait, oh wait. Wednesday. Yes. Today's oh six. Oh wait. Yes. Oh wait, oh six. Depending if it's the month. Six first. today. <laughs> <laughs> so how is everybody feeling with all this Lionsgate energy and all that's going on in the cosmos? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's make sure that uh, we can see the comments this time. So last week. Yeah. Uh, we don't even have a button this time. Remember there was a button that said mm. number of comments, and then we clicked it, and all the comments showed up. Well, somebody can no, send we a don't comment, have, and we'll know. We don't have a button. <laughs> That's all we got. <laughs> Spacebook. Spacebook. Silly, silly Spacebook. Always something. It's always different. It's always changing. It's always morphing. It keeps you on your toes, right? Yeah, we've been challenging us. Mm -hmm. Stay, stay central. Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and tune in. We'll tune in with our Adi mantra. I'll type it in the comments in case you don't know it. All that now. Mangala Charan Mantra. Ad Gurenam, Jaga Gurenam, Sant Gurenam, Sri Gurudev. Mantra for protection. Sakurei namme, sakurei namme, sidi 
Catherine has joined us. Welcome, Catherine. How are you doing today? <laughs> um, yes, with the Lion's Gate portal coming up and all of the um, planetary shifts and um, alignments, retrogrades have been happening recently. It's good to chant. Well, we are <laughs> we chant always. We always find mm -hmm. a good reason for that. Um, this mantra that we just chanted is, is to create a sacred space, like a bubble of protective light around you and your loved ones. It's a good mantra to use during these times. Flux and portals opening and closing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. It can be challenging. It can be really challenging times, all this energy, new energies shifting, shedding our old skin so we can blossom into the fullest potential of who and what we are, what we came here to do. That's what the lion's gate is all about, stepping into that inner lion, let it roar. Some say this is the most powerful time of the entire cycle, the whole solar cycle, mm -hmm. the year it's right now. Um, we just had the day out of time, uh, end of July, which marks the end and the beginning of a new cycle in the Mayan calendar. We're in Mayan country right now, mm -hmm. Chiapas. Um, Southern Mexico. Mm -hmm. And with the solar, the solar power, if you're in the northern hemisphere, it certainly is a very potent, powerful mm -hmm. time, change and expansion and growth. And this is the time when the Earth is close, or our solar system is closest to the central sun of the galaxy, the Sirius constellation, which includes the dog star, Sirius A and B, well, dog stars, Sirius A and B. And uh, yeah, that Sirius energy is pretty serious. <laughs> Not really, <laughs> but it challenges us that it sometimes um, can feel really serious. But the, the idea and the way to get through it is to laugh and not take things so seriously. Yeah, keep a sense of humor. Keep a sense of humor. Keep <laughs> chanting. Keep breathing. Breathe deep. 
try our brother us. Michael. Yeah, and our brother Michael, I see, has joined us. Oh, and Param Dayal, Satnam, 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 sister. Um, yeah, I like we we both come from Syria, so we have definite serious connections. And people from Syria are the least serious <laughs> in the entire cosmos. <laughs> uh, what do you say? What's your Toltec agreement? Yeah, I've embellished. Yeah, I embellished the second Toltec agreement this way. The, this perfect Syrian um, <clears throat> maxim or tenet. It's. Uh, do not take anything personally, literally, mm -hmm. nor seriously. <laughs> and I loved it when I, when I, when I write really that down, everybody <laughs> write that down, say it again. Do not take anything personally, literally, nor seriously. <laughs> okay. That's why, you know, for, for political information, I find it's more useful and definitely more entertaining to watch the comedy versions like mm. you know the, um there's a few if, if you want some links or go to the prophecy now <laughs> or check out the, this new one called the cartoon president it's quite funny uh, yeah. you watch a couple of clips from it's that pretty hysterical it's on showtime <laughs> keep a sense of humor keep it light people mm -hmm. yeah i was gonna say it was serious it was uh, as i got more in touch with that connection the dog star and um Seth Kirshen men mentioned the constellation of Sirius, which includes our sun. Um, I like the, the metaphor, the analogy that Sirius is the grandson or the grandfather of our planet. If, if, mm -hmm. we, if we see, as many native traditions see the sun as the, the father symbol, uh, then Sirius is the grandfather. Mm -hmm. So we have we have some anyone from Sirius who has that connection. We bring some wisdom, hopefully, <laughs> and we know like the, the true. I know it certainly. The the real masters that I've met, I've been blessed to meet some true masters, um, mostly elders. They've been around for a while. It, usually, it takes a little time to <laughs> to garner some wisdom or to remember who we really are. Um, they have a sense of humor, so there's a childlike innocence about them. They, they like to laugh a lot. Just make other people laugh. Satnam Param Dayalkar. Satnam Ji. Yes, and like you always say, if, if a master isn't laughing hysterically or making you laugh hysterically, don't don't even bother. Don't, don't waste yeah. your time. Yeah. If you're looking for <laughs> if you're looking for a master. If you're seeking, you know, yes. A guide or teacher. Yeah. If they don't have a sense of humor, because it's all about lightness, lightness of being, lightness of heart, light filled beings are enlightened. And that's every sense of the word. Keep it light. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Well, the, um, the dark night of the soul has been coming up. The theme has been coming up again, as it often does. <laughs> For, for me and, and now with us and our, our work together, um, psychodrama and soul retrieval, the long dark night of the soul is a theme. If you've been following any of our posts here on Soul Book and also the, the father pa uh, page, if you will, the, the grandfather page, grandmother hmm. page, uh, School of Nod, I've been making a few posts recently about the long dark night of the soul. We thought maybe there might be some interest in, in speaking about that um, in terms of portals opening opportunities for transformation, mm -hmm. uh, for healing at this potent time, the yeah, Lion's Gate portal. Anyone feel like they're going through a long dark night currently with all this energy that's going on? And Give us a, a hand raise emoji. <laughs> Let us know. We're here to support you at this time. So it can be very challenging. You can feel very isolated and alone, but know that you're not alone. We're here for you. Our community here mm -hmm. in Soulbook is here for you. Anyone's experiencing a long dark night of a soul at any point in this year? 
I can raise my hand. Earlier this year, we were having some major health challenges with um, the parasites and different amoebas and bacteria that are in the water here in San Cristobal. Um, had us out for quite some time and it was very challenging. There were some really dark moments for me personally I can speak to. And it was not fun. <laughs> Yet coming out the other side, woo! It's powerful. You're reborn. It's the new life. It's new vigor. Mm. Yeah, it's a matter of perspective. On one hand, we can see cycles of darkness within bigger cycles. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, on the other side, we can see cycles of, of light, um, mm -hmm. awareness, awakening within larger cycles of awakening. Dark Night of the Soul is, is a shamanic term to describe depression or clinical depression. Mm -hmm. and, we say, and we usually say long Dark Night of the Soul. Um, and I also like to refer to it as the human condition because um, if we look around, if we look, certainly if we look from the perspective of enlightenment, of joy, and sense of lightness, as Seth Kirtan mm -hmm. described it beautifully, and, and mirth, and this whole planet seems to be under a cloud of despair, depression, um, <clears throat> certainly in the Western world. And, um, well, in third world countries too, because of what the, what the West has done to a large degree. Um, <clears throat> so, have you been feeling depressed? I like guess another way of interpreting <laughs> mm -hmm. that question. Param Dial, we got you, sister. Much love to you. <laughs> So symptoms include, yeah, a feeling of lethargy, of um, could be despair, um, sense of helplessness, confusion, low energy, um, brain fog, um, hibernation, antisocialness. <laughs> I don't know if that's a word. Um, yeah, isolation. Because it is an inward experience and not to judge yourself through that process. If you feel like you need more rest, Haridam has a great <laughs> uh, meaning for depressed and that's deep rest. <laughs> needing yes. to sleep more, needing to take more time out for yourself, meditate more. Um, and sometimes just binge out on Netflix. Seriously, I mean, not to judge ourselves when we sometimes just need to kind of shut down for a while and go inward and just really feel into what's going on. And that's the way to move it. That's the way to work through it is to really honor that process and not see it as something wrong with you. That's the key, not to judge the experience. Mm -hmm. And so to honor the process for what it is and know that things will get better. This too shall pass. And uh, there's an opportunity there. The darker you go, the more light that uh, can ultimately come through. So seeing those dark times is really a process and it's, it's an opportunity to grow and learn and to really shift things within yourself so you can come out the other side Unholy new light. Every crisis is an opportunity. In, in the Chinese language, the, the symbols for crisis and opportunity are mm. the same, or often depicted together. <clears throat> uh, every crisis is an opportunity to grow. So the deeper the the, the crisis, so-called crisis, the, the more large and potential mm -hmm. 
we have in the opportunity to to go and to expand to heal from that mm -hmm. through that yeah man why he could do this way we like to we like to chant yes <laughs> Chanting. So, but so many times when we're in those dark moments our mind is just in a hamster wheel and it's just repeating the same negative thoughts over and over and over again and we can feel really bogged down we can feel really trapped and stuck and almost just totally annoyed with our own thoughts and what's coming through what better way to shift that than the chant replace those thoughts with mantras mind projections higher vibrations Oh, 
create the cosmos. And the cosmos shall clear the path. Love is eternal vibration to pave the way for a life of peace, harmony, peace, contentment. May the force be with you. Why you do? Why you do? It's showtime. The bets are in. I'm gonna win. It's a done deal. A steal. Sure thing. Ping! The wicked witch is dead. Let's spread the news. I'll rise from your pews. It's time to fuse. The third, fourth, and fifth dimensions. Don't mention fear to me. Cause I'm bound to eternity. Past is past. The future never will. The thrill is now. Pow! Wham, bam, thank you, man. Mother Earth is at a moan. Mm, we're going home. It's the promised land. I've seen it. Felt it. Martin Luther King is there. Osho, too. Bob Marley's rocking the joint with Charlie Parker and Buddy Rich. This party's hot. Steam rising. Kundalini hits of ecstatic yum. We are one. Virtual treasure trove of fun. Come on. Don't delay. Release those shackles and turn from the fray. Say yes to life. Now to play. This day. Come what may, try it a while. See if it fits your style. You may be surprised with the size of your joy exploding. Pow! Ow! To the heart of right now. No more criticizing, ostracizing, prejudizing, no. nor compromising. Uh -huh. We're here to announce the end of such negative ways. We say, no more. Poof, it's gone, long gone, bye-bye. Yes, it's the beginning. <laughs> It's the start of a brand new game, and our game has a name. It's unconditional love. Begin by listening to the cooing of a morning dove. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> and then, and then, when you kiss the person closest to you, if it's a tree, that's fine too. Because trees like to be kissed. You whisper sweet somethings in their ear. And when all their fears have disappeared, you celebrate with song and dance. <laughs> Your hearts swell, and the love bursts forth in all directions, embracing everyone in a 40-mile radius. The jam continues until the light is so intense that our laughter brings all the angels to our doors, so ringing the bell, shouting, Hallelujah! It is accomplished! Congratulations, people of planet Earth, for you have graduated to your divine rebirth and the whole of the universe rejoices. <laughs> what a smashing day. Let us pray. 
Give deep thanks. All love and gratitude be to one and all, earth, sun, sky, sea. We are one. We are one. The conquer eternally. Satnam Felice Tamar. Satnam. Those beautiful names in the community. Thank you for being part of this soul book community. We created this bridge for you. For all of you, well, for us too. <laughs> to join with you, to bring, bring like minded hearts and souls together. The shared mission, if you will, the shared passion for meaningful connections, <clears throat> soul to soul. True relating on the deepest level. That is our birthright. That is the true meaning of humanity to connect, to relate. Co-create the world we want to see on this planet. And from that point of view of the, the the extraterrestrial visitors from Sirius, Pleiades, wherever you come from, um, we can see that everything on this planet, the third dimension for sure, is, is upside down, inside out, and backwards. Mm -hmm. So the only solution really is to, is to flip it. Flip it good. Um, all the conditioning is upside down, backwards, inside out. Um, instead of coming from the head, come from the heart. That's another good example. So, like, so many thoughts, things are just passing through my mm -hmm. mind right now. Well, I see the whole world as kind of in a dark night of the soul at the moment, and it's mm -hmm. really becoming pressurized at this time. And it's always darkest before the dawn. Mm -hmm. So recognizing as a humanity, the earth is shifting. The Schumann resonance is shifting vibration. This is measured. This is measured by science. Yeah, there's been a lot of fluctuations this year. Uh, the Schumann resonance is shifting. Mother mm -hmm. Earth is shifting. And we're to come along with or not. <laughs> As Yogi Bhajan said, he prophesied this time, the Aquarian Age, that one third of humanity would go insane. Mm -hmm. oh, what was it? One third? No, it's one third, one third, one third. One third would go insane. Another third might die or something. And then the other third would rise and be the teachers, the leaders that help everyone else along. And those of you that are attracted to soul book and to Kudalini Yoga and sound healing, chances are you are those leaders that are here to help everyone else through this time that is very challenging for humanity. And the lion's gate is calling us into that highest expression. Yes, yeah. yeah, so... Yeah, so light, light, light some candles. Um, mm -hmm. We have one lit here, Our Lady of Guadalupe. Um, or even better, if you make a fire ceremony this week. We will probably be doing another fire ceremony. Mm -hmm. We love doing fire ceremonies. Mm -hmm. This is the season of Leo, the fire element. Mm -hmm. Lion's gate, to give lions flaming, flaming manes. <laughs> The sun is high in the northern hemisphere. 
in the sky. Mm. Try not to get burnt. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else? Tamar says that we're amazing. Keep it, keep it up. Keep Thank up. You. Thank you for, for the support. Um, Look for the long dark nose of well, I love your song that you sing. Mm -hmm. It's very appropriate for the long dark night of the soul. Exactly. You've got to go. <laughs> Shall we do? Mm -hmm. I Turn off those lights. Okay. Yeah, we Just set the mood. <laughs> mood lighting here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. We lo love to get feedback. Oh, that's kind of, it made it kind of grainy, which is kind of, I like that. Like it? Yeah. Stick with it. Um, we, love, we love receiving feedback to our posts. So thank you, those who have already done so or doing so. Um, I just posted something about the long dark night of the soul today, that it's, um, one has to go alone. It's, it's, it's a solitary journey to some extent. Um, nobody can go for you. Mm -hmm. It's this standard gospel song goes on. However, we can do it with some support too. It's not completely solo experience. Mm -hmm. It's a poem. <laughs> yeah. yeah, in many cultures in India or even um, tribal cultures in Africa, indigenous peoples in the Americas, it's when someone's going through a dark night, it's supported by the community seen as an initiation to their higher calling. Many are being called to more of a shamanic um, medicine woman or medicine man role go through a very intense shamanic initiation that is in our more Western culture considered a mental illness that needs to be medicated and contained and not talked about secret and it's just shameful so it's time that we start to shift this in our culture and hold each other through these processes recognizing it's it's a calling to something greater and to really honor that process for what it is and we, we all know it depression, the Western term for the dark night of the soul, feels like. It is the human condition, really. And like Seth Kirtan said, you know, we've been conditioned to feel shame about it. Putting, heaping shame upon the shame, mm -hmm. you see, is this <laughs> vicious cycle of self-abuse <clears throat> uh, fostered by a crooked, really criminal system. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah. And rather to shift it than to, to recognize this is human condition. We're all in this together. And, and I'm reminded of two of my favorite quotes that I've been um, sharing for, for decades now with students and clients. One's from the master we know is Yeshua, Jesus. He said, if you bring forth that which lies within you, it will save you. It will be your salvation. And if you do not bring forth that which lies within you, it will destroy you. Mm -hmm be your destruction salvation destruction mm -hmm. the same principle within it's a choice right? the conscious choice bring it forth or not salvation destruction um, and I have to accompany that quote with uh, Henry David Thoreau's one of my favorite quotes from Thoreau he did his time off the grid mm. Walden Pond <laughs> In my own Walden Pond experience in Quebec. <laughs> so um, he said, most men, this would include women too, I think, but most men lead lives of quiet desperation. Mm. 
for me, the key word there is quiet. Mm -hmm. In that, it's, oh, I, I can't share this. It's uh, the shame of admitting one's desperation. Um, even to oneself. Even to oneself, yeah. Yogi Bhajan called it cold depression. This underlying state of kind of numbness that we just live with and think it's normal, but it's not. And it, the potential is so much more. And that's not to say that, okay, if you're feeling depressed, just chant, just say some positive mantras and, or, you know, affirmations and just fake it till you make it and everything will be better. Also recognizing that if you need help, if you need support, sometimes there is a very much so a biochemical imbalance that needs to be addressed and getting support, whether it's through nutrition, different um, therapies or what have you, whatever you feel called to, whatever your inner guidance is guiding you towards, recognizing that it's all divine. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Yes, and we're here for you. Um, certainly, we've created this page as, as an entry level for those who want to reach out and, and, and seek this kind of support that we're offering. And you can say this is entry level, level one. And if, if you want to go deeper, where we're, um, we're offering various portals, mm -hmm. <laughs> to use the Lionsgate terminology for that, for a deeper connection to these programs that we're doing online and one-on-one and, -on -one and so on. So you can send us a message here or a personal message. Be happy to get back to you. We, we do something called breakthrough calls, usually one <laughs> per person. <Yes>. <laughs> we would do more. I would consider doing a second one for the same person. But, you know, Under the right circumstances, yeah. yeah. But, um, do you want to put the link? Or do, I mean, we, we do. We have provided this before, but there's a link for these calls. And these calls are geared towards your love life. We talk about what is working, what's not working, and where you want to be, where you want, where you see your ideal soulmate situation. And we'll develop a plan to help you get there together to connect with you and yes yeah, so we both came to the realization that, that in the path towards meeting reuniting if you will with, with your ideal soulmate um, one has to pass through the long dark night of the soul mm -hmm. and so there might be smaller cycles within that the larger cycle different stages growth transformation um, so this is um, definitely a part and parcel of the, the soulmate journey it's healing that mm -hmm. and um, in the process cultivating a, a deeper and deeper ever deepening relationship with the self um, and to that end too we, we, um, we encourage support people with um, time for a spiritual name and if you if you already have one uh, help yeah, supporting okay. you and you creating a specialized mantra recording that you can use to deepen that connection mm -hmm. with your soul so there's the there's the link okay good well, here's the piece the standard gospel. I first heard this song, maybe I heard it before, but it, it, it really came home to me watching it. I, I love Coen Brothers um, films and the uh, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Uh, this, from the soundtrack of that amazing film, um, this song came to and I, I played with it a little bit. This. You've got to go. You've got to go to the lonesome 
Here's the dilemma to be to know true rebirth, true transformation, one must die first. Rebirth is always preceded by a death. Call, that's what we say, call a call. Death, rebirth, death, deathlessness. Being born into the eternal nature. And and how this manifest in relationships mm. in order to to know truly soulful connection 
soul book is all about. One has to die to the codependent. You could say codependent relationship is called <laughs> co-creative relationship between true soulmates who are evolving together, who have already we've done some work before me, uh, <clears throat> is a call, it's timeless, mm -hmm. it's eternal, evergreen. And it does feel beyond this dimension. It's, it's otherworldly and it's available to everyone. I'm going to do the work and go that lonesome road and go through that dark night, making your way to the other side. And that soulmate is right there along with you, parallel paths doing it individually. And then when you finally come together in that new space, each renewed, it's pure bliss, it's pure freedom. It's a soul recognition of oneself in the other, that oneness that we all are really, yet really accessible <laughs> through this other, the eyes of this other person where you then see it in everyone because that recognition mm. is so strong right there with you. And to live your life from that space is life changing. I'm asking myself these questions more and more recently because of um, the number, growing number of calls that we're having with people who are on this path some, some way, somewhere along the path of the long dark night, as I would describe it, they probably would agree too. <laughs> um, certainly what they've shared with us, um, trials and tribulations, often long periods of loneliness, being alone and or coming in or out of um, dysfunctional relationships with, with deceit, deception, lies, and all these horrible things. Um, so, and I asked myself a number of times now, if you do, uh, what's stopping, what's holding them back from going deeper into this journey with some coaching, some mentoring from people like us who have this wealth of experience, care and guidance to, to offer. And um, yeah, different answers have been coming up. Well, one is, is, is that readiness, that the readiness to really to to die, to let go, to let go of the past, which means to to jump into the unknown, um, to embrace the unknown, to trust that there is something better awaiting. Yes, often it takes the pain of the current situation to be stronger than the fear of the unknown. So it almost takes that crisis point to be ready for something like this. And so we absolutely recognize that timing is everything. And if you feel you're at that point, that breaking point where something's got to shift, you can't go another year, five years, 10 years doing the same thing you're doing. I mean, <laughs> do you really want to, be alone for the rest of your life. Um, if that crisis point is upon you and you're ready to take that, make that commitment and make these shifts within yourself so you can be in that new space free of the matrix, free of the societal conditionings, the fears, the tra past traumas, and really step into that new you so you can attract that ideal soulmate to meet you on that other side, then definitely book this call with us. We'd love to speak with you. Yes. We're here for you. Yes, because like the song said. No strings attached. No strings attached, absolutely. We're here to serve you. We're here to help you along in whatever way we can. These are breakthrough calls, so we're here to help you break through 
as best we can. And um, yes, like the song that Haridam just sang so beautifully, thank you. You have to go alone. Yes, you have to go through that, uh, your own shadows, your own darkness to come out to the other side. However, you can get support, you can get people to hold space for you that can help steer you in the right direction if it's, you know, maybe getting a little too intense to help remind you of what's really going on so it's not so much of a pit of despair. And uh, that's where this community group is here for you. This is why we're here for you and why we're doing these calls. So we're here to hold space in your own process. No one can go there for you. Mm -hmm. However, there are those who can go with you up until a certain point. Um, and there's many people. We can't just rely on one person, even the greatest mm -hmm. guide or something. We, we need mu multiple. Mm -hmm. We need really community. It's a team. It's community, yes. Mm -hmm. You know, and people support us in various ways. And, and people can take us to certain levels mm -hmm. depending on, on their experience and wisdom. Mm hmm Yeah. Good point. Um, but nobody can go there for you. Mm-hmm. Can, can help show you the way and, and help, help you to avoid some of those pitfalls. Mm -hmm. and, and sometimes we need to fall into those pits. <laughs> sometimes they're divine pits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> those rocks may be hard, but God made those rocks. <laughs> However, you don't have to fall into the same pit over and over, over and over, over again. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's try to steer you out of that. Yes. This is uh, reminds me of one of my favorite um, definitions of mastery, um, which goes like this. Um, a master is someone who doesn't make the same mistake twice, which also implies um, that a master, a true master, we're all masters in disguise, by the way. <laughs> um, and a true master is a master of disguise. <laughs> I love playing with words. But, um, when we say that a master never makes the same mistake twice, um, there is one condition with that, unless he or she enjoyed making the mistake <laughs> so much the first time. <laughs> So one of the exceptions to that rule. But, um, it also implies that a master makes many mistakes. So they don't make the same mistakes over and over again. So to, 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 to think that a master doesn't make any mistakes is totally wrong. False. false. A master makes many mistakes. That's how we grow. So making mistakes is a good thing. Mm -hmm. So it gives in those divine pits and so on. And, but um, to make the same mistakes over and over again is to, is to feel stuck, to feel like you're on a hamster wheel and it's going around and around and mm -hmm. you're not really getting anywhere. So um, if you feel like you've tried everything and you're still in the same place, I challenge you to really question yourself. Have you really tried everything? Mm -hmm. So often we say, I've tried everything. Well, maybe there's something you haven't tried yet it's time to try something new. And you just keep trying something new until you finally get it. Just keep going. Keep up, as Yogi Bhajan said. Keep up and you will be kept up. You are divinely supported. And when we ask for help, the universe always responds. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we don't even see it. Right? <laughs> or we don't see it till years later. <laughs> The universe is always on course, always mm -hmm. responding moment to moment. It's relentless. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Any other comments here? Any questions? Debbie, Mane, Satnam, sweetie. Sybil, Satnam, Karuna. Thank, you for, Thank you for joining us, you all. We so appreciate your presence here with us. We enjoy your interactions and your loving, supportive energy for not only us, but one another. And 
the sacred community that we're in here and soul book and all that's cultivating here we just really appreciate all of you for contributing to this beautiful experiment and experience mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes, as I mentioned earlier, we're, we're constantly mm, refining our methods and teachings and, and looking various ways, all the potential ways that we can help and support because that's, we know what our mission is individually now mm -hmm. together is that is to support our ever-growing community in whatever way possible, especially through the, the nod, the holy sound current, highest vibration, and through play, psychodrama, and, <laughs> and dance, and, and storytelling. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And chanting, as I said, the spiritual name compositions, one of our highest and most Joyous. Yes, we, we have a couple of new ones that we're working on right now in the process. Yeah, it's such a beautiful process. Mm -hmm. uh, the name plays with us and it really comes through however it wants to for you. So it's a really powerful tool to have in your back pocket, this personalized mantra just for you. And, and we were looking up in the TM community. Yes, Transcendental Meditation. To get your own personal mantra for TM. Talk about poop story. <laughs> the fee is <laughs> like $2,500, and it's a secret mantra that you can't tell anybody ever in your entire life. Yeah. Which makes or it else. a little <laughs> suspicious. This mantra yeah. is something you can share with everyone, and it's a fraction of that cost. <laughs> a major, major fraction. Or a we very, very small yeah. fraction. We encourage that. you to share it, especially with, within the community within your spiritual community mm -hmm. such as the soul book community yes because the more you I don't want you to hide it <laughs> the more you say it the more you hear it back to you being reflected through someone else's voice back to you mm -hmm. the more you see it written the more you connect with voice. that name and this name mm -hmm. is it's it carries a nod the sound code of your soul essence your destiny path and so the more you connect with that, the more you speak it, the more you chant with it, listen to it, dance with it, sleep to it, what have you, the more you anchor in that vibration, you embody it within you, not just a head thing of, oh, this is my name, this is what it means, but actually embodying it so you can radiate that out. Just your presence will speak your true essence. This is a huge and significant part of our connection and the timing of our meeting is that we only know each other mm. by our mm. spiritual names. She is Sat Kirtan Kar for me. She embodies beautiful mm -hmm. words <laughs> so perfectly. Yes, and he is absolutely <laughs> Haridam Singh to me, <laughs> the creative lion of the universe, the Lord. This is it right here. <laughs> Yes. And she sings the truth, the mm. God's name. And that's one thing we do in the composition as well as we weave the mm -hmm. interpretation mm -hmm. in your mother tongue into the composition so you can connect with it on that level as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll, we'll post some more information about that if you're interested. Whether you have a spiritual name already or not, we're here to mm -hmm. support you in that way. If you feel guided. Oh, look at that. Can you see that reflection? <laughs> in the guitar? <laughs> have you guys all seen the, the video that we made with the sunshine of your love? <laughs> Mantra karaoke. It's on YouTube. I love it. I, I love watching Seth Kirtan Kar in that video. She just, <laughs> she just nails it. It's, and <laughs> I love watching you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of fun. And we want to do some more of those. 
Mm-hmm. Um, so all right. we're over an hour, so let's... Let's go ahead and sing our longtime sunshine song, closing the sacred mm-hmm. space of soul book sessions for this evening. Mm-hmm. If you know this song, sing along. We'd like to join with you in the universal sound current from wherever you are, in any time and space, because ultimately it's all one. A call. May the long time sun to shine upon you. May the long time sun shine upon you. All love surround you. All love surround you. And the pure light within you. And the pure light within you. Guide your way on. Guide your way on. May the long time sun shine upon you. All love surround you. And the pure light within you. Guide your way on. present guide guiding you even when you may not recognize it even when you may feel very alone and lost in the dark night know that you're being carried and you are being held in the presence of the divine in the presence of community in our presence here in soul book may we uplift each other May we inspire each other. May we witness one another in our own process, in our own time, knowing that it's all divinely orchestrated for our highest good in our own individual paths. Many blessings to all. Satnam. Satnam. Thank you all for joining us this evening. We'll see you next see week. See you next week. On Soul Book Sessions. <laughs> Satnam. Satnam. <laughs>